Hello there, this is Rom Wills coming back at you with yet another podcast. Every woman will open up sexually for the right man. Yeah, for real though, I wanted to say every woman, every woman is a freak for the right man. Let's just be real with it. <laughs> now, every woman has a freak threshold. And for those of the, for those of you who are not in the community, understand that urban vernacular. Basically, a woman will open up sexually. She will have sex, crazy sex. I'm talking like coming from the chandelier out in public. You know, she'll take in all your kids orally. You know, shoot, if you're one of those dudes who want to go through. Every hole she got on her, she'll let you do that. If, if now you reach that, you uh, can get her to that freak threshold. And basically what that means is every single woman, I don't care how repressed she is, she, she can be a nun because there's been stories about nuns getting down. There's some guy who can get her to that point where she opens up. Now to understand... To understand the basis of that, understand most, even though women have an actually a higher sex drive than men, right? Like by nature, they do. They can, they, women can have sex all day. I've said this several times. I've said this several times, right? And anybody, any pimp will know it. Any, any true pimp knows that. They expect that. They just know how to use it for their, their own benefit, they know how to get her to open up for their own benefit and get money out of it, right? But the thing is, just because of the nature of culture and everything, which is controlled by men, and then you got a lot of guys out here, you have more guys who are non-select, or if you don't like that term, beta, or if you don't like that term, in the 80%. But some of these guys in places where, well, you know, they're running something, you know, like a job or, you know, you still have some women. You got women out here who, you know, they need to be married or, you know, because of their culture, their religion, whatever, wherever they at. You know, the women got to hold back, you know. And that leads to sexual repression, right? That leads to sexual repression. So they, they'll put a lock on it or they'll put conditions on their sexual nature, Right? They'll put conditions. They'll say, well, you know, because you got, like, the whole thing with trick culture. You know, you got a lot of men who, you know, they realize they have to pay for the women. And sometimes the women say, okay, I'll unlock it if this dude pays for this. You know, he buy me something. Or, you know, and that, you know, that ranges everything from getting the money straight up to a man, I don't know, buying a woman a car or buying her a diamond ring. You know, paying for dinner at a, an expensive restaurant. If they in the hood, you know, buying that, uh, you know, buying some cigarettes and some booze or buying some weed or something, you know, whatever. Right. So they'll open up for that. But even then, they don't open up all the way. See, one of the things all women, because of their sexual nature, they look for that man that they can open up for totally. So those men are usually the guys that, you know, I refer to as Mr. Good Bars, you know. He's like, and that's an analogy for like chocolate, you know. That's an analogy for chocolate. And they, you know, it's like that dessert, ice cream sundae, whatever. Something that tastes real good but not really good for them in the long run. But whatever. It gives them a chance to open up. Also, when you talk about the sexual shadow world. See, a lot of guys still don't understand that. The sexual shadow world is simply the place that they can open up fully without being judged. See, some guys heard that and they think it's just basic. No, that's the only thing with it. And a woman don't have to be cheating or anything. It could be a regular woman you don't normally see in a relationship or you don't see her around, but she'll go wherever just to open, just to get opened up, Right? And that's what the guy got to think when he's dealing with a woman. He's got to ask himself, is she letting go, right? And sometimes, you know, if you, if you can read the woman, right, you can tell. Like, I was with this woman, and I never forget. Like, a friend, of, a mutual friend set us up, right? So I picked her up. I was bringing her back to my spot, right? And she was acting all, like, 
coy, innocent and stuff. And I just looked at it. I said, look, you don't have to hold back from me. I don't judge. Why did I say that? <laughs> the stuff, let's just say they were bite marks and stuff at the end of the evening. Oh, man. But uh, <laughs> I'm laughing. Let's think about something else with that. Uh, but I opened her up. And you, I mean, and that's just the reality of it. I mean, you know, every every woman has it. You just have to be the type of guy that makes her comfortable to get there. Now, how do you how do you get her there? What type of man you got to be to open up? Well, first of all, you got to be a man who don't judge a woman's sexuality. You can't judge, or at least show her that you. If you do judge, don't show her that you judge. Her. Be able to hide it well. And trust me, that day, if you can hide it well, you're very good because women be reading men's body language, right? So that's one thing. Another way of opening them up is just be what her ideal, what her ideal is physically. And despite what a lot of people think, it's not the same thing for every woman. You know, some women, you know, you might need to be that tall, uh, that tall dude, right? Another woman, you might be need to be that like stockier dude, you know. I knew a woman, shoot, a dude had to be, like, rotund and over 300 pounds, you know? It depends on what her particular thing is. A lot of times that's dependent on either her imprint or the guy who just turned her out, right? Just turned her out. And speaking of turned her, turning her out, you got to come off to her. You got to come off to her. Before y'all even get in the bedroom, Is that guy who's, like, everything going in the bedroom. That, and that's the main thing because women, yes, they got that sexual nature and stuff. Yeah, they love to have sex all day, but they want good sex all day. Some about how you move, how you carry yourself, how you look at her, how you touch her, and then how you just dominate, period, speaks to what you might do for her in the bedroom. Because she wants it. And a lot of women, you know, in the bedroom, they want they want to be totally submissive. They want to be in your world and everything, right? So you got to have all all that stuff. You got to have all that stuff. I mean, the first thing I would say for a man is he got to be comfortable with his own sexual nature, his own sexual nature, because women can pick up on that. Women can pick up on a guy who's not sexually confident, you know? You got to be sexually confident. It's like, I'm going to tell you what, you got to be sexually confident just period. Shoot, even if even if you ain't that type of guy that, you know, can get her to that freak threshold, you know, you still, even if she's just going to have basic vanilla sex with you, you still got to come off as confident. That's very important. And that's, under, that's really understanding every woman. Every single woman. I don't care who she is. Everyone got one. If a woman came on here and said, no, I don't have that. First of all, if she bothered to comment on this, I already know she lying. Because a woman who truly, 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 truly didn't have that wouldn't comment at all. Real trick, real trick. Let me go off on a tangent real quick. When if someone takes the time to comment on something or try to dispute something, that's because it's already there. You know, sometimes when you hear, what's that term? Uh, me think that you protest a little too much. I'm just saying. I'm just saying. So what you want to be as that man, you want to be that man who can open her up. You know? You want to be that man who can open her up. At the very least for your tribe. And I always say tribe, that's just mean the women who like you naturally. The women who like you naturally. Right? But the key is you got to open yourself up. You got to be comfortable with your own sex drive and then confident in the bedroom. Because when she, when you come off as that, boom. So, anyway, that's all I have for today. I'll talk to y'all later. Peace and blessings. <laughs>